Thanks everybody for turning up. Joel Ben here, business analyst in the services team. Uh, the ANS registry software. So um, for a long time, we have packaged the registry into, I guess it's a zip file and put it on the ANS website, but it was, it was difficult to go and set up. It, it, it wasn't well documented. It was quite um, troublesome to get running. Um, and we've only had a couple of real sort of uh, people that have taken it on board and are using it at the moment. Um, as of 10.3, the, the new registry that was released in, in R10 has been packaged up into a really neat little package that can be installed in literally four steps. Um, and I know that Ben and, and Leo, I think it was all Ben and, and Min, had set, set one up in seven minutes um, on, a, on a Nectar cloud and it was basically running and there's one here that I can show you an example of. Um, and this is now really a viable option for people to use as a metadata store, um, whereas before it was, it was really quite clunky and people were probably turned off a little bit by using it um, because there were so many steps of getting it up and running. But now literally in seven minutes, somebody can have a registry, which means the back end and the front end, so Research Data Australia with a search portal um, operating. So this is one that, I think Ben stood up. Um, so it's basically a vanilla install. So seven minutes, this was set up. Um, it, it works, you've got the spotlight, we have theme, we have topic pages, I should say. Um, the back end's all operational and it comes with obviously uh, a set of sort of example records um, that people can, can see how they are structured before they go in and use them. As I said, this has been bundled up and it is literally as easy as four steps. Um, and they're really well documented further down the page um, and it'll step anybody through how to set up an instance of the, the registry in uh, Research Data Australia. Um, there are obviously a couple of requirements that need to be installed, um, but they are also walked through in the setup um, of the four steps. So yep, really easy. And as I said, the, the guys did it in seven minutes on a Nectar VM. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got.